You're listening to Greetings from Austin. I'm Elisa. And I'm Jenny. We're here to share all things lifestyle, real estate, design, and more. As Austin natives and agents with combined 28 years experience, we're excited to bring you new episodes weekly. Thanks for joining us today. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Elisa. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Ready to get started on our newest podcast. Yeah, me too. You're listening to episode three of Greetings from Austin, where to shop for your home. Are you looking to refresh your house or are you maybe moving into a new home? We're here to share some of our favorite places to find furniture and home decor. Mm. So we're going to touch on furniture first. So first on our list is CB2. I think we both really love CB2 and yeah. the style of furniture it offers. It's kind of more modern, reasonably priced, um, great Great furniture, couches, beds, side tables, uh, outdoor decor, outdoor furniture. Um, they have a good online store or they have a store in the domain. The domain doesn't have, you know, it's not a huge store, so not everything is in there, but um, it's a good place to get started. Yeah. I, I really like that store too. We also really like West Elm. I feel like it's not quite as modern. It's more mid-century modern wouldn't you say Mm -hmm. yeah they have a pretty big showroom so Mm -hmm. I've been able to find well at least I like maybe they don't have it in stock but um I just like to put my eyes on it when I can just to make sure I agree even if you do the dimensions and measure things Mm -hmm. and try to picture it in your head it just doesn't always yeah 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 it's or like a light fixture it's it's hard to know you know what the scale of it is um if you're not looking Looking yeah. at it in person. I agree. Four Hands is another one that we like. I haven't personally shopped there in quite some time. I remember they used to have great warehouse sales, and I would like get tons of stuff there when we would move. Um, but I know in the past I've really liked their stuff. Yeah. Um, next on the list is Article. So Article, you shopped there recently. Yeah, they found me on Facebook. I yeah. actually had never heard of them. Elisa had heard of them, but they found me on Facebook, and they, it was just too cool and too easy, so I pushed the button. Yeah. <laughs> I actually hear a lot of their ads in podcasts. Interesting. I listen to podcasts okay. all the time, and I hear their ads. Well, they did a great job of knowing that I was shopping for furniture and getting in front of my face. Yeah. So I bought all, well, three bed frames there. Yeah, and, and I, I like them. love them all, yeah, yeah, and I was able to... Um, get them to deliver and then even set up the beds. So yeah. it was just so easy. Very full service. I and like what's that. really cool is, you know, it's, it's hard buying stuff online and not knowing, um, what it's going to be like, you know, the quality of it or what it's going to, the support of the underneath the mattress, what it's going to be like, but they have a 30 day return policy. So I didn't know that. Yeah. So if you don't like it within 30 days that it's been delivered and put together at your house, they will take it back. I don't know the specifics on if they um, have restocking. I kind of don't think they do, but yeah, I like that. I feel like that's part of it. They don't have warehouses or places that you can go to view the furniture in person, but, and that's kind of their, their ad thing, you know, that they cut out some of the costs by not doing that. Yeah. That makes sense. I didn't think it was like really cheap stuff, but I think it's really good quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I could see where it's mid range, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. And they kept the price maybe a little bit lower because of. Yeah. Maybe not having a retail Mm -hmm. store. Yeah. That's awesome. We also like Crate and Barrel. I feel like I don't have a lot of furniture from there, but I do really like their kitchen items and um, some of their just hosting things that you can find there yeah I I don't really have I don't think I have anything from there but Mm -hmm. I do like the in the arboretum their store and all the housewares and kitchenware yeah I actually okay I do have a couple things in my kitchen from From Crane Barrel Mm -hmm. I have some glasses that I love so much Mm -hmm. and every time someone comes over they always comment on them just they're like kind of heavier and have a cool shape and design I need to actually buy some more because I've broken some oh that's awesome I love them So Restoration Hardware is also a really popular, uh, cool place to go. They have one in the domain, Mm -hmm. and they also, I guess we're going to talk about this later, but they have an outlet store in San Marcos. Um, But they have just beautiful um, light fixtures and 
um, great, comfortable couches, a popular couch that they have, um, that I've, I have friends that have, and you might too. Yes. Do you have one? I don't have oh, one. Oh, it's called the cloud couch. Yeah. Um, it was like a TikTok trend for a while. Oh. It was all over social media. It went viral. Huh. And now they have lots of cloud couch dupes out there because oh. it's so popular. Wow. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I feel like that's what they're known for now. Okay. Yeah. Next on the list is Serena and Lily. I feel like this is a little bit different design wise than the other things that we've talked about so far. It's more like light, traditional, beachy feel. Um, but they offer free design services, which I thought oh, nice. was cool. Actually, I think several of them do. Yeah. I, I know West Elm does. CB, I think CB2 does. Mm-hmm. Uh, Restoration Hardware probably does. I think does. they do too. Yeah. I think they all offer it at varying degrees, mm-hmm. but um, sometimes I think pattern matching is really tough. Mm. And some of those other companies don't really have a lot of pattern matching going on, but Serena and Lily does. So I've never heard of that before, but I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like that would be helpful for yeah. someone like me who's like, I, I want to match patterns. I guess I don't have good patterns, at right? Yeah. <laughs> Probably because it's intimidating. I need help on pattern matching. Yeah. So they can help you. I thought that was cool. And they have some very popular items. Like they're, I don't remember the name of the chairs, but they're like a woven blue and white design chair. Yeah, and I so like them. Popular. Yeah. I had not heard of the store, but, um, you recently showed me a picture of those chairs and mm-hmm. I recognized the chairs. Yeah. Cause they're everywhere. Yeah. 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 They're very cool. Yeah. I love those. So the next one on the list is room and board. Uh, I, do they have one in Austin? I, I tried to look up most of these to see if okay. they were local or not. Okay. I don't know that they did, but I, I could be wrong. I thought there was, but so I, I, I'm I not sure. Um, my friend just, uh, furnished her place in Colorado with room and board and really cool stuff. I was not familiar with it, but, um, it's supposedly pretty popular. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I would say it's more modern, mid-century modern as well. Yep. There is one in the domain. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to check that one out because I really haven't looked at that much. Next one on the list is our house. Did you say you shot there? I did. And they have one in the domain also. And um, I got a really cool light fixture there recently for this house I built that we're in. Yeah. And um, yeah, I I'm, I think I learned about it maybe from a designer. She'd gotten a light fixture there and um, I just went to it. I found it online and then I went in the store to check it out in person. Yeah. Really, I needed to know... I was trying to get pendants for over the kitchen, and I I wanted these other pendants from there, but the I think the um, uh, cord wasn't long enough, so okay. I needed to go in to figure all that out. Yeah, how was their showroom? It was cool. You know, I don't know that it was necessarily my style, but I was in a rush, so mm-hmm. I wasn't in the mood to really browse around. around. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, next up is Nest Modern. So they do have a location here in Austin. It's on South Congress. And I haven't been in there in a really long time. Have you? I don't think I have, but I was recently at a friend's house and she has an amazing light fixture and it is from there. So yeah, I did look at their website and I I love the style of their stuff. It's kind of that popular mid-century modern also, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah. It's a good local spot. And the last on our list is Design Within Reach. I also learned about this from a designer, and I get I get their catalogs, um, but definitely mid-century modern Mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to move from, like, furniture that you can look at locally here in Austin, or maybe even, like, some of the other ones we talked about are very popular, and you could definitely find them closer to you if you're not in the Austin area. Um, So now we're going to look at just things that you can mostly find online. So first on that list is Wayfair or All Modern or there's another one. I think it's called Joss and Maine. Mm-hmm. They're all sister companies and have some similar products across all of them. Yeah, they all they used to be separate. All Modern definitely was very different from Wayfair. But yeah, when I go to All Modern now, which I like better than Wayfair, um, it does. It like will shoot me to Wayfair. So yeah. it's interesting. Yeah, I've I've gotten um, light fixtures there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I've gotten furniture there before, um, but I do I do like their stuff. Yeah, 
I feel like you have to be careful and read lots of reviews mm-hmm. on that one because mm-hmm. the the quality is varying. Mm-hmm. True. In a big in a big way. True. True. <laughs> um. So I obsessively read reviews if I purchase. I have gotten. I got something at Wayfair. Um. I, I've gotten a bed at Wayfair before. Um, but I got a coffee table there and I did not like it. And they ended up just refunding my money. I didn't even have to send it back. Yes. So th- similar thing happened to me. I bought, um, I bought a mantle from there actually. Huh. And it arrived broken. And instead of like asking me to return it, it's a bigger piece of furniture to ship. They just offered me a refund and then allowed me to reorder if I wanted to. Yeah. So hmm. I think they do that a lot. Yeah. Um, I've bought wool rugs from there. I, I like my rugs to be wool. Mm. And sometimes they're harder to find. And I feel like those have been really consistent. Mm. I don't know that I'd go on and buy just any rug from mm-hmm. there. But if you're getting a wool rug. You kind of know what to expect. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Good. So the next on our list is Ruggable. And I didn't know about them until recently. I was furnishing this big house and looking for rugs and I learned they're washable and that really caught my attention. Um, Mm -hmm. so I bought several, I I just made a second order too. Well, I just got more. Yeah. Um, I like them. They're they're and and they have really fun themed rugs. Um, I got one for my son that has Grogu or, um, baby Yoda and, and the design and you can't tell, um, it's hidden, so you can't I didn't tell. See it. Yeah, you sent me a picture and I couldn't tell. Yeah, yeah. Right off. And they have Disney. The Disney yeah. you can tell it's Mickey Mouse. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, what do they have? Marvel, I think. Uh, really, really fun. Yeah. But the other one's just normal, normal, and I love that they're washable. I don't know that yeah. I really will lift the bed and pull the big rug up and wash it, but I know that I can. Yeah, if you had to, it's nice. I yeah. I have a ruggable too, and I have washed mine. Okay. And I feel like it washed well. The only thing I didn't like was that you have to air dry it. And it's kind of hard to find a place to like lay it out and air yeah, dry it. Yeah, mine are big. Sometimes pretty big. So yeah. um, that was the only tough thing. But I don't actually think that's for every single one of them. I think it depends on like the color and the design and everything. Mm. So read the label, definitely. Okay. I definitely didn't do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you haven't washed yours yet. So yeah. You have a reason. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, next up. I think up, I cut it off. <laughs> you cut it off? Stop it. <laughs> now you're never going to know. Mm-mm. No, you can probably go back on the website. I think it has instructions for each rug. Okay. I think. Which is always nice because who wants to keep, you know, yeah. all the instructions? Yeah, I try. Yeah. Okay, next up is Magnolia Market. If you're in Austin or near Austin... They're located in Waco, so you can go there and visit in person. But I feel like their online um, website is really great. I've never been on, and I need to, and I've never been. Yeah, I buy this stuff in Target, um, but I need to go on their site. Mm-hmm. I feel like their site is a little bit more high end than tar- their Target line. Okay, but I like it, and it's a little bit of a different style from the other things we've been talking about. It's less modern, mm. more of that okay. warm farmhouse feel um but i really like it nice and the next one i had never heard of so and i still i i tapped on the site and i liked it but i haven't gone very far so you know about this one next up is mcgee and co i think i actually found out about them from their netflix show i didn't really know a lot about who they were or um really what they did i mean they're not located here so Mm. but i love 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 their their storefront and their online stuff. Hmm. It's awesome. I would say it's somewhat comparable to Magnolia Market. Kind of the same style, you think? A little bit less farmhouse. Mm. So they have a more, more traditional. Mm-hmm. Yep. More traditional. Um, I feel like right now when I looked on their website, they had a lot of like natural textures, woven things, raw wood, hmm. things like that that are really trendy right now. So the next one on the list is build.com and I like this one a lot because, um, it's, it's got stuff. Well, it's Ferguson owns it. Um, but you can get plumbing fixtures, hardware, cabinet, hardware, door hardware. Um, I've gotten tubs on the web, that site before. Um, you can find just about a ton of stuff for building or remodeling. I went and looked at it and I, 
We'll probably be purchasing from there soon. <laughs> I'm ready but to I, I will say a caveat. Oh, and I got some tile from there, the fireplace okay. tile. A caveat is just return uh, communication and return is just not as easy as Amazon. So the prices, they their prices stay. Well, I always check actually. If I want something, I'll look between the two sites, but the return policy or returning is so much simpler on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Um, Bill.com can kind of be a bit of a pain. I think I think they I bought some toilets um, there and they ended up I canceled them they delivered them anyways I don't remember but it was kind of a fiasco yeah I mean as it can be with any of these things yeah. especially when you're buying furniture online I think that's sometimes intimidating to people and that's why a lot of people won't do furniture or big mm-hmm. items online because you have to pay for the shipping mm-hmm. and then if there's an issue it's a little bit complicated true Mm-hmm. True, but it just seems like when you go into the store, maybe the wait time is going to be yeah a lot longer. Yeah. So I do like I like the fact that uh, like article was only I mean it took maybe two weeks yeah that but I've been going on West Elm uh, yeah me West Elm and furniture is just way out mm-hmm. so it's crazy the delay that we're seeing yeah, yeah. I think it's getting better but we'll yeah. see next up. We already kind of touched on it. Yeah, Amazon. of course. Amazon. Yes. Amazon. It's just, I don't like giving them all my money, but they make it all so, your money. All no. my money. <laughs> yes. Let's just be kidding. Real, right? A lot. It is. A lot. <laughs> but it's just so easy. Yeah. I know. I feel like they've changed the way we shop forever. Yeah. But I agree. It's easy. I bought. I bought a lot of house things from Amazon. Yeah, I, I guess, and I'm not saying necessarily as much house stuff, but yeah. like I, I have not bought furniture from Amazon. I don't know about you. Yes, I got this table from Amazon. Oh, well, I really like table. Yeah, you know, I'll go, I'll go find it somewhere else, like maybe on All Modern, and then, and I'll just see if it's on Amazon because that is just this. I know the return. I know what to expect. Yeah. Um, and sometimes they are on Amazon too. Yeah. So. And I feel like the price does vary. Like for a while it was always comparable, but now I'm sometimes seeing that things are more on Amazon. Sometimes it just so, depends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If it's a big item, you really need to look around. Uh, and point in case as, um, I just ordered a dining an outdoor dining table on Amazon. I think I found it somewhere else, but then I looked on Amazon and the shipping time was oh. a lot less. Um, but guess what? It never came. So what? it's a, we're a month in, and so I, I just am canceling it. And now All Modern has it for like 200 less. Okay. So I'm going to go order it there. A little bit of a supply chain issue, I guess. Huh? Who knows? That's interesting. Yeah. I've never had that happen on Amazon. But again, I think it does change a little bit when you're ordering a bigger item. Yeah. Well, there's different, you know, there's sellers on Amazon that are not really um, related with Amazon. You can become an Amazon seller and then they stock your stuff like in their warehouse and they have control over it all. Or you can have third party sellers that deal with their own stuff. And that's this case. Um, Okay. It's not directly under Amazon. More unpredictable, not on that prime schedule. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. Okay, next up, I'll let you take this one because I also haven't ordered from this. So this faucet. faucets is more supply plumbing, and they have a lot of, I just started, a designer introduced me to it, and um, they have amazing light fixtures like on display and all separate by brand. Um, I've learned a lot. Uh, I had the sales guy just show me around on on different brands and um, just educate me on on how they all were and and then they also have appliances so um, appliances are so booked out right now and you have to you know order appliances when you are pouring your foundation to your house that's how it takes a good year plus to get appliances especially like the sub zero fridges. Um, the ranges, Thermador, the big brand Wolf, Thermador, um, are just way booked out. And, and I don't know about today, but I know within the last probably month or two, it was still the case. Yeah. Um, but this, this place just makes things so simple and the prices, I, I compared the pricing on their plumbing with build.com and it was 
less or about the same. Okay. I do have an account there, so that okay. might play a factor. That was going to be my next question yeah. because I looked it up online and it looked like you had to have an account to okay. access online pricing. Okay. So can anybody just walk into their warehouse here in Austin? Do you know? Or do you have to have a wholesale account? Oh, that's a good point. Mm. I think you could do a cash purchase there, but I'm not positive. If not, you could okay. you could set up an account or go through a designer. I feel like you can walk in off the street. I felt like it was an easy place to browse the brand. So even if you couldn't buy from there, mm -hmm. it could be a good resource to go and see a lot of options. Mm -hmm. And then from there, if you're not local and you can't go in and shop there and you can't get an online account, then maybe you Google those brands or those mm -hmm. items that you or bill.com like. will most likely. Have uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause that's a plumbing supply. Ferguson and more are kind mm -hmm. of competitors. Mm -hmm. So just keep in mind that not everybody can easily shop there. Mm -hmm. if you're not local. I think maybe. Yeah. 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 You might be able to go in locally. Okay. Next step. C gallery. Yeah, so they used to have a store in Austin, and I used to love it, but they don't anymore. I went looking for it because yeah. it's still on Google Maps, and it's so funny because I went to the closeout um, sale like a long time ago. I and forgot. I, well, I thought they moved. I thought they oh. moved within Austin, so I was wrong. They're in Houston only. Well, uh, in Texas, I believe. Yeah. Maybe they're in Dallas, but um, the closest to us would be Houston. And so I just, I bought a few things online. Uh, I still really like the store, yeah. but I, I would say like, I think I got this. It's yeah. I got this little table at Z gallery. Um, Z gallery. I still, I think I'd like to see stuff in person, but yeah, I just feel like sometimes their quality is it, like also it, varying. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, it's different now. I think now that they're just, you know, mostly I feel like now they're online. I don't yeah. know. It's a little, yeah. Maybe changed a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but so if pillows, you're in Houston. Yeah. Then go check out the store. Yeah. yeah. But I, I cut you off. You were going to say pillows. Oh, I, yeah. I got some pillows there. I got side tables. I got some fun, you know, pretty games. Mm -hmm. So those are easy things to buy and not have to really see. Yeah. You can know that they're going to be cute when they get here. Yeah. Yeah. I think those are easy to shop for online. Okay. We mix, we mix some of these up. So we put article in with the, our furniture topics, but really you can only shop for it online. And most of those were also local. So article is on here again, but we already touched on that. Yeah. So next up is Lulu in Georgia. Do you, have you ever looked at their site? Mm -mm. Okay. I actually found it when I was browsing furniture stores oh. online. Okay. Working on this episode. And I love it. You have to look at it. Okay. It's so awesome. They have a really great blog too. Hmm. So if you have questions about decorating or what to do with your house in a certain or area. Or pattern matching. Yeah, or pattern matching. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they specifically have anything on pattern matching, but I'm sure they do. <laughs> <laughs> but check them out. I really like their site. Um, I like the style of it. It was, It's a little bit more mid-century modern, I would say. Um, but they had fun pieces okay. that were just kind of different. Cool. And... I think that they have like more I need of an some more design. stuff, so I will go check that out. Yeah, I need some more chairs for the living room. I think you could probably find them there. Okay, they had fun stuff. Cool. Yeah. So next, we're going to talk about home goods and decor. Yeah, or yeah. find knickknack type things if you like that. Yeah, and yeah. so I I think we share this in common as well. But one of our favorite stores is Home Goods. Yeah, just to go in and browse, like yeah. No, I buy a lot. <laughs> I mean, I do too, but I feel like it's one of those places for me. I have to go in and browse sometimes a few times to find what I'm looking for. Mm, not so I'm me. looking for something specific. <laughs> I just go and it, <laughs> fill up the cart. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have friends like that yeah. or, and clients too, actually. She's I don't like, know. My husband won't let me go to Home Goods anymore <laughs> because I filled up. My cart. And then I also bought other stuff and I had to like make him come pick me up in his truck. <laughs> so. Well, I take, I take the Yukon. Okay. Cause so I know yeah. 
<laughs> yes, okay. I don't know. I just feel like it's, it's lately I've been going to the store a lot because I've been doing this house and furnishing and everything. But in my normal life, I don't make it to the store very often. Yeah. So when I'm there, I just, people, I go to check out, they're like, a normal thing that people say to me is you don't mess around. And okay. I really don't because I just feel like my time is so limited. I just need to get it and get it done. Yeah. You're not <laughs> going to go shop around for it. You just, you found it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's a good place for lots of things, whether it's knickknacks or kitchen items mm-hmm. or some holiday. Kind of, yeah. Holiday. Really cool holiday, Halloween and Christmas and Thanksgiving stuff. Yeah. So I have this hack. I, I didn't put it on here and I kind of forgot I did this. It's been a while, but you can go after a holiday and go to their like clearance markdown section and you can go and buy down feather pillows that have in- the insert. So they have a zipper on the cover and a lot of times they're like the ugliest ones that no one would ever buy. So they're like $3 and they're big and it's a down feather pillow insert. So if you like decorative pillows on your chairs or your couches mm-hmm. or whatever, and maybe you want to buy covers from somewhere else, like mm-hmm. I know West Elm has great covers and Mm -hmm. you can buy just the cover for Mm -hmm. a decorative pillow. Those inserts are sometimes really expensive Mm -hmm. and you can just go grab a couple of really hideous ones and then put your cover on. That's a great idea. Never thought of that. Thank you. I've done that multiple times. Okay. It's been a while, but I have. I love it. Yeah. That's great. So next up is World Market. I feel like... These chairs. I love them. I like the color. They have a little bit of everything. They have a lot of outdoor stuff. They have dining tons tables, of knickknacks bar stuff. Stools. They even have light fixtures. Yeah, you, you know, I saw that when I went to go get these chairs. I saw that in the back. Mm-hmm. Some cool, like, basket weave. Yes. That, I mean, I don't know. I could have fit it in somewhere, but yeah. um, just cool stuff. It's very bohemian. Mm. I feel like their store overall is very true. bohemian. True, true. But I think it's a good place for certain things like Mm -hmm. it's not always my style but they have a lot of like raw wood or just plain like like these chairs that are just simple and you can add your own touch to it agree and also stocking stuffers oh good point almost are almost there at that time of year and i feel like they have the best just go in and you can fill up a basket and have a stocking stuffer good point i've never done that there Mm -hmm. Okay, next up is resale and vintage. Um, So if you're not local, I feel like anywhere you're at, you can shop on Etsy. And there are so many things on Etsy. Sometimes you have to pay a lot for shipping, and that gets expensive. Um, But, I mean, you can buy things from all over the world on Etsy. So. Yeah, definitely. I've um, a, a designer had told me that she finds light fixtures there, and yeah. I um, I got a few light fixtures from one of my last builds, uh, and really really liked it. Just unique stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes I'm concerned if I go to like a big store that it'll be everyone will have it, or y'all. I don't like to see what I picked out in other yeah. houses all so, the time. Anyways, yeah, right? that you will find just super unique stuff. So the light fixtures that you bought, were they vintage or were they handmade? Um, Maybe they were handmade. Okay. Yeah. Wooden. Yeah. I love that. I like that you're supporting someone that owns a small business Mm -hmm. and then, you know, whether it's vintage or handmade, I think it's just Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I've gotten art there before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I bought various things on Etsy. I really like it. Again, another place like read the reviews always. Um, and then besides that, you can find this anywhere you're at, but estate sales, I like them. <laughs> Maybe, I mean, they're not for everyone. You have to go and browse and be willing to go into I'm a few. I'm not patient and not enough for estate sales. Yeah. It's not like I, I'm going to go out and like do it every weekend or every Oh, week, come on. All like, you have is time. You know, if, you, if you're driving home. by... <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, i mean actually i'm trying to think the last time i went i think i hauled my maybe baby, before my baby. babies <laughs> no it was it was when i had one baby for sure i might have been pregnant and then i bought these two gigantic pieces of furniture <laughs> with plans to redo them because they were hideous like the paint color was hideous 
And then I said I was never going to paint any furniture again. Oh, buddy, it's a lot of work. So now I make my husband do it. Um, it is a lot of work. But estate sales, I feel like you can find good things sometimes. If you, especially if you like older furniture. I have been able to find really good mid-century modern pieces that you would pay a lot for at a curated vintage shop. Hmm. And I paid like 50 bucks nice. for a big piece of furniture. Nice. Mm-hmm. I'm not willing to paint or do anything. I mean, just time. Yeah. I don't know where you find it. I mean, it was like a hobby. Like, mm. I really liked doing it for a mm. while. But then I think, as I'm now a mom, time is... See, I've been a mom limited. for a long time. Yeah. So that's probably... That's you probably were, it. Yeah. You were not a mom just a few years ago, right? No. Yeah. Four years ago, I was <laughs> I'm not a mom. about 16 yeah. years into this. Which changes it. <laughs> but maybe I'll get another wild hair and make my husband... Paint another piece of furniture for me. <laughs> he loves it. Mm. Okay, so next up, if you're local to Austin, here are some places that you can shop that are just local to here. You won't find them other places. Um, but first, we'll talk about different outlets. That's one of our favorites, I feel yeah. like. Yeah, right? yeah, totally. So mm. San Marcos has several great ones. And it, it is sort of hit or miss, but... Um, at least it seems like if you go in a day, one of the stores will have good stuff. And, um, Elisa introduced me to on Instagram, they'll have what updated stories of the current, Mm -hmm. current stuff that just came in at West Elm outlet. Yeah. They do like a truck day. Mm -hmm. And so they'll post everything that came in on the truck. Like I shouldn't say everything. It's not everything, but a lot of things Mm -hmm. and especially bigger items. So if you're looking for, you know, a couch, and you want a specific couch or you need a certain color for a dresser, they'll post stuff on their story and you can actually call and put a hold on it. Mm, if it's something that you've been looking for, yeah. you can also message them. And I've done that before. If I can't find something on their story, I message them and say, Hey, do you happen to have any of this? Nice. So that's great. Fun. Before you make the drive out there, which is yeah. probably not that far for you. How far is it? Like 25 minutes. That's nice. Yeah. It's about yeah. 45 minutes for me. Yeah. But it seems like it's hard for me to get out there. But, um, yeah, I love it. Yeah, it makes it easy. And they also, which you didn't know about, have um, Pottery Barn and Williams-Sonoma. And so at Pottery Barn, they have the regular stuff, and then they have the teen. And I feel like maybe they have some baby. Okay. Not, Not positive, but it is huge. So do you know if Pottery Barn and West Elm are connected in some way because i've seen pottery barn stuff at west elm like pottery barn baby Mm -hmm. like furniture or um i honestly don't know textile stuff i don't know okay i i want to look that up now i don't know but i've hit the pottery barn outlet and they i got some organic sheets for my daughter Mm -hmm. at a really good price i think i got a down comforter um really cheap and they just have basket or yeah big baskets of stuff and if you just look through and again yeah. I'm not super patient so I'm like my yeah. daughter my daughter helped me one day and found some really good stuff mm-hmm. yeah I bought a lot of um bedding. I'm not patient at the store I'm patient yeah. I can be patient when I want to be patient but yeah <laughs> but like you don't have it in this time I yeah. get it yeah I think I've gone into West Elm multiple times with two kids and so they're your timer yeah you you only have so long to look right but i've found a lot of good bedding things at west elm too yeah and like 70 percent off so nice i got those pillow covers there yeah i like those yeah yeah so i need to go back and figure out all my bedding yeah it's a good place for it yeah especially another thing about their instagram for, for West Elm, not all of the others, but for West Elm, you can look on there and it will show their current discounts. So I know that their oh, bedding will get nice. up to like 60 or to 70 to 80% off sometimes. Mm. And so I'll watch their Instagram. And if I need something new, I'll just wait until it's up there mm. and then go. Wow. Yeah. So you can plan for that. Um, and then another outlet that's here in Austin is Four Hands. The other two that we just talked about were both San Marcos. This one is in Austin. Where is it? It's up Anderson in, Lane. Anderson Lane. Okay. So I feel like, again, you've got to just browse. 
these places. Yeah, I think it would be good on that one to just call and see when their trucks come in because I've only been a few times and I just haven't found anything. Yeah. And I felt like it was still very expensive and it was damaged. So, okay. um, but I think if you really are methodical about it and call when they have a new shipment, you probably will get better stuff. Yeah. I haven't been in there in a long time, but I do follow someone on Instagram and she's local here to Austin and she likes to go in sometimes and she'll share when she's there. Oh. And she has posted stuff that I felt like was a really good find mm. that wasn't super expensive. Mm-hmm. That was like probably 70% off and it mm. didn't look like it was damaged or sometimes she'll even say. Yeah. And that's, it's, 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 yeah. If you have, yeah, just call and see if yeah. their truck, when their trucks come in, I think that's probably the strategy there. Yeah. I know. I think that I probably West seen just left Tuesdays. Leftovers. Okay. But yeah, I think you, if you want to frequent these outlets, mm-hmm. calling about the truck days or even calling to ask about what their discounts are. Mm-hmm. I don't know how Forehands does it. West Elm is very methodical. And I think it's partly because it's such a big company mm-hmm. and they have to do their discounts according to like what, what the company allows them to do. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes they'll do like a manager special on something where it's deeply discounted. And I think it's usually because they have a, a large amount of it. Mm. So they'll post about that, but otherwise it's, it follows a, a definite trend and okay. they, they have to Interesting. follow certain discounts. But um, I still feel like forehands could be a, a good place to look. And maybe look at the website first and decide if you like the style. Mm-hmm. It's a little different. More traditional maybe? I don't know. More dark wood? Yeah. I mean, back in the day um, when we would buy a bunch of stuff, it was really good, solid wood but it was all dark and yeah. so I think I got armoires and chester drawers and I can't remember for a bed beds there but um I just w- I got rid of it all when I moved um to Westlake because I ended up like painting cabinets white this was in 2013 and getting away from all the browns and going to all the whites and yeah. kind of more modern which I think it's changed. I've looked at it. It, it has. You know, we went, in, we went in that build not that long ago, and yeah. we found really cool chairs. And they, they looked pretty modern, but they looked super comfortable. And They were. Yeah. They had the metal on the bottom, right? Like ironwork? Maybe I need to look. Yeah, and I looked online to see if I could find them, and I didn't see them there. Okay. Because I'm like, wait, that would work in, in my living room. but Yeah. I feel like they're also a little bit of a smaller store, so I think they had to rotate their things differently. Mm. Just my thought. Okay. Mm-hmm. clearly we need to visit that one again um okay the next two on the list are both vintage spots actually i think it's three but i love all of these places and they all kind of have a different vibe but i'd say that there's a lot of mid-century modern because that's just so popular right now so room service vintage revival vintage and then the other one i think is uptown modern i'm gonna scroll down Yep, Uptown Modern. And all three of those are all kind of North Burnett Road area, and they're all pretty close together. So mm. it's easy to just hit all of them at once. And I love vintage. I've, I've feel never like, been to any of those stores. but You, you might like it. Mm. You like modern. So Uptown Modern you'd probably really like. Okay. They have a lot of mid-century modern stuff. Um, but I, I will say you have to pay a price for it because it's, a curated vintage store and they have sourced these hmm. items. So you're paying more. Like hmm. I've found similar brands of things and paid a lot less elsewhere. Interesting. But it's nice to go in. If you know, you really like that style. It's really easy to just walk in and find it there. Hmm. Which is nice. So lastly, we're going to talk about some of the big name stores that you could easily just, um, buy online or, uh, all of these actually are in Austin as well. So Ikea, of course. Um, I don't love going in there. It's just so big. I feel like it's hard just to run in and get a couple things. You Well, they kind of force you through the maze of going through the whole store. But, um, I mean, I do enjoy it maybe like once a year and, and to get like organizational stuff, fake plants. Um, yeah, and I mean, like I've, I've got some Chester drawers for some closets. Yeah. Um, But yeah, I mean, the annoying thing is, you know, a lot of their stuff is put together and it's like comes in a gazillion pieces. That's, 
Yeah, not Unless fun. you're weird like me and love to put furniture together. Well, now that I know, I will call He'll be you calling me. Because my husband complains to me anytime I get anything put together. That's why here I'm trying to pay people yeah, <laughs> to, to put, put it together. everything together. Or I buy it, you know, where it comes. Most of it I've just bought where it already comes. Yeah. Put together. My husband thinks I'm crazy. So like, I will literally put music on or put a podcast on. I'll just put together. Again, I just don't know where you have time, but okay. Okay. It's a, it's a relaxation thing. Like some people like a bubble well, bath. Like, get... let me put together some furniture. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's weird. It is weird. <laughs> like, I like it. Yep. Now that I know. It's like, I like busy work, I think, too. Yeah. I like to like do things while I am doing something else. Like, well, so if I can listen to a podcast, I like to do And master <laughs> of multitasking for sure. You get a sometimes. lot accomplished. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I go overboard. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, living spaces. You've been in living spaces, right? I have, yeah. I have not. I've a couple never been of times. Inside. I would say their quality is okay. But yeah. if you're looking for something like fast, a lot of times they do stock it. Or you know, something that, you know, you don't need the nice thing or maybe you have small kids and yeah. you're going to buy nicer stuff later and you you know, have fingerprints, dirty hands all over your stuff. Maybe that'd be a good, um, you know, or, or if it's your first house and I think, I think it's very reasonable, I think good looking stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know about, you know, how long it will last and yeah. all that, but, um, yeah, I think it's, it's a good spot. Okay. I need to go check it out sometime just to walk through and it's in Pflugerville. Yeah. So Ikea is in Round Rock. Living Spaces is in Pflugerville. And then we also have Costco on the list and there are various Costco's. Are you a member at Costco? I am and at Sam's too. Okay. But both. Costco's a little bit further from me. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love Costco. Me too. We are like just diehard Costco. Yeah. One of my favorite things to get from there is liquid IV. Not furniture, oh, but that's where I buy it. Don't get it at Target. Yeah. It's so expensive. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Um, but you bought stuff from Costco recently, right? Oh, yeah. I'm always buying stuff at Costco. We we get like monthly stuff from there, but yeah. also um, just for like this house in particular, you know, I bought towels, I bought some sheets. I They have like nice, nice, um, they're not cheap, but they're nice quality sheets. Yeah. Um, Let's see, pillows. They have down pillows. I, I bought a down comforter there. Um, yeah, they have mattresses, lots. right? Is that what oh, it, oh, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Elisa the was, mattress was asked, here yeah. with me when <laughs> it's kind of far, the house I built, and Costco came all the way out here and brought um, three mattresses, maybe four, three, because mm-hmm. one was missing. And, um, yeah, they were all the wrong size. And I thought it was, they, I was looking at them and I went and I thought surely they had messed up, but I looked at my order. I was very, I didn't say anything, but I looked at my order and I actually, the website I think glitched when I went to order, but yep, yeah, I had to get them to take them back on the truck and reorder <laughs> and they were out of course, of King, of course. But then I, I got them. Yeah. They're all here. Good. I feel like it is a great place. But oh, for... oh, you can buy online. So if you're not buying it in the store, like for instance, my ring cameras, I oh, yeah. th- sometimes they'll have deals on ring cameras and I'll buy them there. And the number one reason I like to do big purchases, um, if, if I can find it there, like TVs, I get through the AV guy, but, um, you know, I try to, uh, I think we have a power washer from there and, um, Dyson vacuum, mm-hmm. uh, room, we've gotten Roombas there. Um, because the return policy is the best okay. around. So you can take stuff. You don't have to have the box. You don't have to have the receipt and you just take it back. I, I mean, if something's wrong with it and, yeah. and you don't even have to prove that something's wrong with it. It could be for really any reason. Yeah. You can just take it back. Um, I bought an eco there. That's like a smart thermostat. Oh, okay. and it was a lot cheaper. I, so I hadn't even thought about mentioning rings and stuff like that, but mm-hmm. that's also for your house and you could probably go and spend, you know, more on the same thing at Home Depot or Lowe's or mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. I, I think that, you know, they have their shopper, their buyers for the store, like really research, you know, what's popular and what people like. And then they, I feel like they package it where, um, it's, it's just a better value uh, like my son has the, it's, it's now meta owns it, but the, the, um, 3d yeah. what's it? quest. 
Yeah. And I think I, I think I got it there. Um, but if I can, if I can, oh, and we have a drone and I got it there Yeah. and it came with just more stuff. Yeah. For a reasonable price. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's a good spot. And I think people just pass it by for house stuff. Like you can go buy the same mattress at a mattress store mm-hmm. for a lot more mm-hmm. than right. buying it at Costco. Right. And they carry a lot of good brands, Mm -hmm. like a lot of brands that you would recognize Mm -hmm. that are popular right now. Yeah. Okay. Last but definitely not least, my four-year-old's very favorite place in the whole wide world, Target. (laughs) Whole wide world. Whole wide world. He would tell you that every Mm, time. So cute. Uh Well, my son drove me to Target the other day and he had not been in a Target with me and years and years since he was little and I think that really surprised you because (laughs) it put into perspective the reality of when they get older they don't want to go to the store with you but my son is going to be 16 soon and he drove me to Target and he was I just said hey you cannot get there and rush me out of the store you have to be patient and walk with me and he he was I mean we were in there about 30 minutes and he was really good and not pushing me out and yeah. yeah My four-year-old could currently spend like two hours in Target. I'm not kidding. <laughs> like I have to be like, okay, I'm leaving now. Mm, we're we're so going home. Cute. You're in trouble. Yeah, definitely. He loves to shop. Um, I I don't know why this is like the last thing to add to the list though, because we both talked about it multiple times already. And like some of their lines, they do a lot of collaborations right now with other bigger furniture companies mm-hmm. or designers like. Magnolia or Mickey and Co. have been hmm, recent. I didn't know that. Okay. Um, and others. I, I'm blanking right now, but there have been other really good collaborations hmm. where you can get really great pieces that are a little bit more affordable than maybe what that designer would typically offer. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it's a great spot for that. And then I'm trying to think of what else I've gotten there recently. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've gotten those diffusers that mm-hmm. smell so good um, that are uh, from that Magnolia line, I believe. And um, I ended up getting uh, the mixer. Mm-hmm. Um, they just have, they had, you know, several different colors. And it was, I think I got it on sale, of course. Um, yeah. Those are expensive. Um, so it was nice to get a break. And then some appliances. Uh, you know what? I have bath towels from there that I actually really love. Oh yeah. And I'm kind of picky and I have some really expensive ones from somewhere else and I like the target ones better. Interesting. Uh huh. Hmm. You have to I, get the biggest size. Yeah. The sheets They're and like, the, the pillows I really haven't, um, had success with. No, but. I don't, I don't like the sheets either. Yeah. The pillows. No, I don't know. I'm really picky about my pillows. Yeah. But the, those bath towels, Okay. I actually bought them because I was influenced by someone on Instagram who posted about them oh. and I needed new towels for my guest bath. Okay. And I was like, eh, I might as well try them. Yeah. They were a fraction of the price of what I oh, already had in my house. Tell me what they were. Yeah, huh? I'll, I'll send you a picture of their tag, yeah. but they've been really great and they wash really well so far. Hmm. I've had them for a while. That's important. Mm-hmm. So I think that was it, right? Yeah, I think that was very, uh, we talked about a lot of different stuff and covered covered a lot of area today. Yeah. I feel like it can be really difficult to furnish your house. Um, I think this, these places that we've talked about are so varying. Mm-hmm. Lots of different options from vintage to Yeah, but I mean, it's new. crazy that I've furnished several houses and um, I didn't know about some of these things. Yeah. 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 I know. I feel like now I have a whole new list of places that I own the shop. You know, I guess, you know, I, I knew about CB2 West Elm and all of that, but I guess, you know, when you Google something, if it doesn't show up, then how, what other ways do you have of learning about new stuff unless it finds you kind of like article? Yeah. And I feel like that's just now becoming really more of a thing, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. I actually have signed up for multiple magazines while researching for this episode. Yeah. So now I'm going to get more. Nice. I want to do that. Through. You should have added my stuff too. Oh, yes. Now, when you're doing the blog for this, you can just go in and totally, you know, I'm going to put links in and yeah. Yeah. So 
you can listen to this here on the podcast, but if you want links for this stuff or you want to see a couple pictures of what these items look like or, you know, Mm -hmm. pictures of stuff that we've bought from these places, you can visit our blog and get links and more. Yeah, that's true. I could add some links of stuff that I've bought and yeah. that I like. Yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. I like that. I really love your hardware in the kitchen. Mm. I think you should link that. Okay. Yeah. I, I, can, I think that's from one of these places, right? I think it ended up being from Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. So but it. but build.com. I, I, what happened is I went into Facets. I took different pictures of different hardware. I reached out to my sales rep. It was going to take forever. And mm-hmm. so I went and found it online and it was available within a few days. And, um, yeah, I think I found it finally on Amazon, but it took all that, you know, to get, cause yeah. I like to feel it and yeah. Or I, you know what I do is actually I order a few different pieces if I haven't been able to see it because it's really important to know that it's like heavy and um, that it's good quality because yeah. you don't want to spend all that money to have pay someone to put it on and or you know do the holes for exactly that size and then it not be not what, like it yeah, yeah or cheap yeah and then have to start over yeah or yeah. wear quickly yeah all those things matter again read reviews. But also yep. try it out if you can. Yeah. Find it in person. Yep. Yeah. All right. This was fun. Yeah. I enjoyed this episode. Yeah. This is, I think we love both in love design. So, yeah. and love decorating houses uh-huh. and furnishing. Yeah. You've done a lot of that recently. Lots of knowledge to share there. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> All right. Well, this was episode three of Greetings from Austin. And we'll see you next week. Okay. Great. Thanks for joining us today. If you have a real estate question you'd like for us to answer, all of our contact information is in the show notes. If you aren't in the Austin area and need to be connected with a real estate professional where you are, we can help with that too. So send us a message. We're located in the Austin area and licensed in Texas under Realty Austin. While some of this information can apply to where you live, be sure and talk to a local agent in your area. Visit the show notes for more information and additional disclosures.